Recommendation from a government advisory panel out this morning suggests new screening guidelines for prostate cancer. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force says men aged 55 to 69 should discuss potential benefits and downsides of blood testing with their doctor. But there is no apparent benefit of screening for men 70 and older. Previously, the panel recommended no screening. Our Dr. David Agus leads the Norris Westside Cancer Center at USC. He joins us from Los Angeles. Good morning. Morning, Charlie. So what caused this? Well, there was a study in Europe showing that if you screen, there's about a 20% drop in the death rate and a 30% drop in what we call metastatic disease or disease that has spread. So new data caused them to shift their guidelines. In addition, there's a shift now that if you are diagnosed with prostate cancer, almost a third of men don't need to be treated and they could be followed in what we call active surveillance. So all of that data together caused the United States Preventive Task Force to shift the recommendation from a D to a C, which means the benefits slightly outweigh the risks. Is it possible, that, do we assume that most doctors will now recommend against screening? Well, I think it's recommending for screening now. I mean, for you know, screening, so, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, the assumption, it's hard to know. Um, but, but clearly, the data show is that a doctor and a patient need to start to have discussions at around age 50, based on family history and based on the value system of the patient, whether they should undergo screening, understanding the risks. So it really requires a discussion. Is there a reliable way to tell which of these cancers may be deadly? Well, a biopsy. I mean, so when you look at that biopsy, we know that some of them are indolent and don't need to be treated. Others can be very aggressive. And so by looking under the microscope, you can know that. But right now, we don't have a blood test that can do that. It requires a needle and a biopsy. I mean, this now let's talk about breast cancer screening because a new letter published by the Journal of American Medical Association acknowledges that there's a divide now among doctors about when to get mammograms. It's just further confusion is that we're seeing now is that the guidelines are changing and doctors are shifting in the direction of doing more testing. And so, you know, even though the, da the data now are showing that maybe you can wait later till age 50 to doing screening, they're doing screening earlier. And I think doctors say, listen, more is probably better. Um, but hopefully there's a discussion in the room with the patient and based on their value system and family history, the right decisions are made. But there's a lot of noise in the field. David, when you say more is probably better, that suggests there's some window there where more isn't necessarily better. How big of a problem is overscreening and overtreatment? It, it's hard to know, but, but clearly we are overscreening and overtreating. But many women will say, listen, I want to do everything I can so I can avoid breast cancer and play with my grandchildren. And others are saying, listen, I want to go exactly with the data. And so there's no right answer. These are really hard studies to do that take many decades. And it's very hard to randomize somebody and say, you're going to get you know, no screening and you'll get screening and let's see what happens. So there's a lot of uh, a noise in the space, as I say, and discussions need to happen. And it's difficult because you need 10, 15 minutes with a doctor to understand the risks and benefits yeah. and make the right decision for you. Dr. David Agus trying to make it clear for us. Thanks for your time.